Hello and welcome to our video on finding the least squares regression line using your CAS calculator. This is the example we're going to use. You'll need to be able to see these height and weight uh, values. Because we've been given a table of values and all of the raw data, um, it's much easier to just use your CAS than to try and calculate each of the summary statistics and then use the formula. So in this situation, um, a question like this you can definitely use your CAS. So first step is to turn your CAS on and we're going to go to the statistics section. Find a spare column. I'm going to use this one and rename it X and this one rename it Y. You could call it height and weight, completely up to you. And then I'm going to start typing in my X values here, remembering to go across the top, and my Y values here. Okay, I've finished typing in my two variables. First check I'm going to do is to make sure they both have the same number, and they've both got 11. Then I'm going to check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 data points, so it should line up perfectly. Uh, third check I'm going to do is just cast my eye down here. These are all in the hundreds. They're all around 160, 70, 80. Same with these. And down here, 60s, 50, 60, 70s. Along here, 50, 60, 70s. There's no lower or higher numbers there. So it looks like I haven't made an error. First step is to draw a scatter plot of this data. So we're going to click on the Choose Scatter Plot. We've got Scatter, our X list is X, our Y list is Y. And I'll keep that as square. Click Set. Now we can click the Graph button. and it will show up. Mine was just showing um, remembering from last time but then it's remembered that I haven't asked it to graph that so it's that equation up there should come up for you. Um, it will just give you the scatter plot. Now to calculate the least squares regression line we need to make sure that the graph uh, window is highlighted so the blue box is around the bottom window not the top one. Click on calc, click on regression and we're looking for linear regression. So click that one, our X list is X, our Y list is Y, frequency is 1, I'm going to copy the formula into Y1 so I can read the formula off later. Um, if you don't click to copy the formula then you won't be able to see it um, after the next screen. You'll need to make sure you copy it down and you have to go through all this again to get to it again. Um, same with the residuals. This is where you can find the residuals which will be in a further video and if you want that to be there you need to choose a list that is free and copy the residuals to that one. I'm going to leave it off for now um, but I'll put the, the formula into Y1. Click OK and you will get here and it's even put it in AX plus B form for you. This is the value of A, this is the value of B and they put R, R squared and this other value that you don't need. The main two that you need are the top two so make sure you copy those two down um, and we're looking for three significant figures. So I'd be looking at 0.87x plus or minus 84.8 for the B value. Now this is slightly backwards to the way we've been writing the regression. We normally write B first. So make sure you put it in the right order there as well. And I have just realized we're normally doing B times X and A is the Y-intercept and this is the opposite. 
So you need to be very careful here. I would recommend clicking this one and choosing the second. A plus BX is the formula we're looking for. So make sure you're reading the right values of A and B because when I was reading those out I was thinking, hang on, they're, they're back to front, something's gone wrong here. So now that we've got the right regression line, it'll have the right values of A and B. And this was our previous one that we calculated. So A is negative um, 84.8 and B will be 0.867. Are we going for three significant figures? Yes, 0.867. I'm going to click OK, make sure you've copied down those values and it will show you what the regression line looks like. So in a, an exam situation you might be asked to draw this line and you can draw it carefully based on what you see on the graph. Make sure that the y-intercept goes through the, y in the value of A that we found. Um, if we go back to menu and graph and table. In here under Y1 is the formula again if you want to go back to it. Because I click to copy it to Y1, it's the very first value here. So if you need to access that again, we can write it down as 0.867 X minus 84.8. or the other way around, negative 84.8 plus 0.867x. Thanks for watching the video.